clear that we all have high values. And uh, Hannah and I both, we hope that with our ticket, we'll be able to represent these values as best as possible. But to give a little bit about ourselves, I know that we both desire great community within this university, being that the university is founded on the Benedictine principles, and one of those being community. And so to further this, we know we need to push that as much as we can and get around as much as we can to, to get to know each other as well as possible. We also love the idea of culture, which is also quite a Benedictine thing, in which we can always learn from each other and each other's ways. And that type of communication is always important to this university. And finally, transparency is a wonderful thing. To be able to talk to anyone around campus, faculty, staff, and students, and to be able to know what's going on in their lives, but what's going on for this university to make it better, and to grow it when it, within its own beauty and goodness. Our biggest drive behind our campaign, or even if we do become an office or um, win the ticket, um, is you. You as a student. It's clear that there's a lot of interest as each and every single one of you is showing up here and you're ready to participate. And that's the attitude of all the students here on campus is that you're ready to participate. We just need to get, keep giving the opportunity. Um, so that is, that is our, um, our drive behind our campaign is you. We don't know everything, but we will learn from you for our, our continuing, continuing to teach at the University of Mary. First off, we want to welcome all you students here tonight. Uh, we're very grateful to have the opportunity to speak to you guys more about our platform, what our visions are for the University of Mary in the upcoming term if we are elected. We'd also like to thank Dino and Hannah for joining us this evening and agreeing to this debate. Uh, we'd also like to thank you guys for the mutual skills and uh, the respect that you've shown during this campaign process. It's been a really enjoyable one so far. Uh, a little bit about myself to get started off. Uh, my name is Jason Shipman. I'm from Wofford City, North Dakota. I'm a biology major here, uh, minoring in chemistry and also environmental science. My pre professional concentration is in veterinary medicine. Um, I chose you, Mary, because of the small, small school size and the community aspect that was here, and also for the location. I was really um, happy to see this University of Mary Bismarck. It was close to my hometown. And um, one of my favorite things about the University of Mary is working with the admissions office as a student ambassador. One of my favorite things is to tell other students and prospective students and their families about the opportunities offered here at Mary and to uh, help grow it into the future. My name is Paige Charming. I am from Bismarck. I went to St. Mary's High School. I originally did not intend on coming to Mary, so I was just not as open to it when I came, when I finally came out and toured. I realized that I could get the same Catholic education that I was looking for in wide places across the country and at a rate that I could afford, and that was like huge for me. And I came out to campus, and I it was exactly what I didn't think it was, and that's why I love it so much. Um, how does your platform reflect your own personal morals and values? All right, so um, we basically have three main points uh, to our platform. Uh, our first part of our platform, and the main one that's very important to me and myself, is uh, to promote and advance servant leadership on this campus. Service work is very important to us. Um, we love to give back to the university in any way that we can. We want to make service one of the top things here at our university. That's why we are America's leadership university. Students shouldn't graduate from here. Look at these banners behind us and say, what does America's leadership university mean? So that's one of our main points in our platform, is to make known why we are America's leadership university. We hope to enhance um, the campus culture and to make it a very open environment where you can you know, where you can go up to anyone, and then that the student experience is enhanced through this, where like sporting events are more, um, sporting events are more attended, um, music events. We want that the community to be like unified, in a way. and we want to encourage collaborative leadership. We really, we realize we can't do it alone. <laughs> That's why we're here, and we want to be able to unite with campus organizations and do projects together to depolarize campus and to help unify our platform. Thank you so much. Uh, most definitely on this campus, like with, with what our principles are, what Hannah said particularly, we don't know everything. And uh, that's something that we really want to bring to this in the sense that 
we're looking to the community here on campus uh, that's being built so that we can draw from everyone here so that if someone has a good idea you know we can we can draw from that and many times students don't really know exactly what's going on on campus uh, so we, we definitely want to bring that up oh. yeah. um, definitely I want to kind of continue with the um, greater transparency on campus um, more communication between students and the faculty there's gonna be a lot of changes here in the next few years um, especially for strategic planning um, and so it's being allowing the students to have a way to know what's happening and why um, I mean sometimes the decisions aren't going to always going to be you know the most popular vote However, knowing why is extremely important to building campus community and understanding each other. Catholic identity of the university and fostering religious literacy among Protestant and non-Christian faiths. Um, one of the things that I was um, always taught by my mom, who's from New Zealand actually, was that uh, you can always learn from others. And it's sort of a, a thing with, with us is that we know from being around other people of different faiths, we can grow on our own. And I think as, as a Catholic university, we can continue to grow uh, and not have faith be something that uh, discriminates in any way. So most definitely, uh, this campus, I think faith diversity and cultural diversity is, is an incredible asset uh, to every single one of us. Yes. Um yeah, that's pretty much basically what we stand on. Um, and being able to grow together, that is the most important part. Um, we are each individuals that can tell you our communities. And so, you know, finding our, our um, strengths together, um, as well as seeing the differences and being able to respect each other through that, that is what we build this greater community. Um, we believe that we are the best ticket because we have both, we have two different faiths represented on our ticket. Jason is Lutheran and I am Catholic. So we can serve students that aren't Catholic in a way that sometimes that is because campus ministry sometimes uh, is like targeted more towards Catholics, and I feel like I can get more benefit from it. So we're hoping that with our balanced ticket that we can collaborate more. Yeah, I'll just uh, kind of piggyback on that a little bit too. Um, we're a great ticket because we have the combination again: Catholic, Protestant. Um, we have the viewpoints and the perspective to see into more things without having to go find different students first. When you're in different meetings, we're already there. We already know the challenges presented to both sides of the aisle. Um, the mission of the University of Mary is to serve the academic, religious, and cultural needs of this region and beyond. We need to serve the religious needs of all students, and um, we have the perspective to do that. Besides having experience as a student government member, what other experience do you have that gives you the credibility to lead an entire university's student body? That is a huge question. <laughs> um, wow. Well, um, part of that is, is watching someone who has done a great job. Um, <laughs> part of it. <laughs> um, you know, and learning from others, and just willing to willing to have that open openness um, to others um, in building this community. Um, the other experiences I have in my past um, would definitely be serving with Ryan, um, and in high school um, leading um, different things. I I was a figure skater, um, and I did lead a show for my entire um, community back home, which was around 50 girls. So, um, I mean, there's different. We all bring different things to the table, um, each and every single one of us. Um, and so it's not just going to be me, or it's not just going to be you know, me and the student body. You know, it'll be everyone in collaboration. Um, yeah, I do seconds, you know. You only get to it now and down and down. Jim and Strong, go ahead. As we are running on a platform of servant leadership, I really do believe that I have the experience what it takes to serve as the vice president. In high school, I became really passionate about servant leadership as I ran for state student council president and served for a year and on a platform of servant leadership. Through this, I was able to establish a statewide day of caring, which then, which we had over 2,000 students across the state volunteer and saved the state $66,000. This was all done with a declaration signed by Governor Dalrymple. After this, on that day, Courtney Sibla, who's in the back over there, and Brittany Swenson and I came up with the idea to do a state, a citywide service project. We set a goal of raising 2,000 non-food items, and we raised 12,466 items. I'm 
was very passionate about service, and I went to Guatemala this summer and served on a mission trip and built houses for two and a half weeks. After that, I was uh, commissioned by Governor Jack Dauerfeld to his board on uh, national and community service, and I'm a three-year member serving on that state commission. I'll get mine in later. <laughs> All right, I'll say, um, one of the things I think with me that I, I think will be really an asset for me in this uh, if, if, of course, if you get into the presidency, that I went to a minor seminary for two years and um, was personally guided by a number of priests. Um, and of course, it was all it was spiritual, but it was also uh, meant to be able to, to be a pastor to people, to, to guide people in the ways that um, I think they could use and um, the, the ways that we can eventually further the, the situation that we have here. And I, I really do think that that was one of the greatest formation moments of my life. All right, uh, Mr. Shipman, 30 seconds. All right, thank you. As for leadership and um, my experience, again, we're running on the platform of servant leadership. During my freshman year here, I was able to participate in the Pay It Forward Tour. It was a nine day spring break tour that spread from, started here in Bismarck, went as far west as Dallas, and as, or sorry, as far west as Denver, as far south as Dallas. Then I had the opportunity to be a college leader on Bismarck Middle Schools, Horizon Middle Schools Pay It Forward Tour. That was a three day regional tour around North Dakota. And then I was even more fortunate to be leave as a college leader on her high school Pay It Forward Tour. It was a four, five day, four day state uh, pay it forward service tour um, around the Midwest here. Yeah. I mean, hopefully, we'll all be on the mailing list, or we're all going to be working with each other um, intimately, whether it be in committee meetings, cabinet meetings, or just regular student government meetings. So, I mean, hopefully, we're all going to be there. So, I think me and Lee are both going to answer this one way. Um, my main thing is commitment. Uh, working with student government over the past, uh, what, my past four semesters, um, having students come in elected and then not necessarily following through on, on their their offer, on their roles and their duties that were appointed to them. Um, so commitment's going to be really important for me. I'm going to be looking at a lot of things, your extracurriculars, um, those types of things to make sure that you are able to serve well if you're on the platform. Yeah, I'm looking for practice. We're pretty much discussed it. We're looking for pretty much the same thing. We're just kind of looking for people who are going to bring out the leadership in the other, in the people that they are leading. Because we want every senator to serve as a as a uh, honor as a leadership position on campus so we want people who are going to promote others to be leaders as well um, next we have a question from the audience mr peterson uh, thank you to both of the parties on the ticket um speaking about your uh, ideal of quality and promoting other funds to the uh, use of uh, advertising and stuff personally as someone who's been in the music department for almost two years now i've seen as even a fed member I've seen hundreds upon hundreds of students at Fed Bank and football games, uh, basketball games, even cheering on their team. And they went and looked out in the crowd on at band cons on the Sunday afternoons, and I, not many people know what's going on. I've seen twice the black you know, that crowd at the same concert. How would you promote that uh, advertising to, uh, to students or to your uh, social media? This question leads with Charlie Cool. know about it and they didn't read the poster there's a great poster made there nobody read it and um, as someone who loves culture I, I really think it's an, uh, an incredible misfortune that people aren't able to enjoy that so um, I think most definitely those TVs will help uh, I think the Miami Mary will, will be changed and I think that also can be utilized but I think the biggest thing that we really can use is uh, social media whether it be Twitter or Facebook probably more so Facebook um, to create pages there that will uh, have these documents on it so that it'll come up in the news feed. Um, and that's, that's really what I'm thinking. Uh, Shipman Strong. Hey, thanks for that question. Um, I actually understand what you were saying about, especially in the music department, as I was in some event for one semester here. So I understand how some events are sent to our notes, some events aren't, um, and the advertisement goes behind it. Social media.
it was Charmley and Poole. What sets you apart for the, from the other ticket for this position, and why should students vote for you? Jason and Leave are amazing people. Um, what sets us apart um, is that we do have um, much more of a willingness to be open to the students' um, concerns um, and listening to each student um, back and forth on a very personal level. Um, student leadership does include that as well. Um, however, we don't have the answers. I know it sounds like Jason said a broken record. We don't have the answers. You do. And your opinions, um, and your your voice should be heard to student government. Sorry, Shiv and Strom. Um, what I think sets us apart uh, the most are six combined semesters of experience on um, student government, in addition to our um, certain leadership experience, whether it be in state board careers or legislative. Days of service across the state of North Dakota. Um, we just have a lot of experience in our passion of serving leadership and also on student government. And going back on services, this is the way that we want to give back to the university. This is our way of serving the university, so we think that that sets us apart. It's the fact that we're doing it out of passion for service and that's not the same as serving. <laughs> <laughs> campus during the cold, and I don't like to do that. Um, now, I also like to play Frisbee, and with the new, uh, this new student center coming in, I've heard that it's going to like freak our field out, and I'm not happy about that. Um, I mean, I, I like the idea of having a new student center, but if you had to make a choice, I know that I know being a student president is an all-powerful job, but if you had to make a choice between building a tunnel across campus or having a nice Big green field for students to play frisbee on. What would you do? This is going to leave the shipment strong. <laughs> Sorry, Paul. <laughs> In my opinion, I would do the tunnel. It gets cold. It's windy. We don't have a lot of trees. In the winter time, you want you want some summer. And uh, with frisbee, unfortunately, it's only going to melt from like fall to October. And last year, I don't think we really got to play at all. Three trees was Armageddon. Turn it around to uh, Charlie Wolf. Um, quite simply, my question is, why not both? I mean, <laughs> that'd be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Tunnels would be the preference, but I mean, come on, who doesn't like the big game like this? <laughs> okay, uh, rebuttal to uh, Mr. Shipman and Ms. Strong. Uh, the beauty about tunnels is that they're underground, <laughs> so you still have your grass up on top. <laughs> <laughs> So maybe I'll just ask one each, one to, one to each ticket. Um, but but maybe uh, maybe they are pertinent to the campaign. Uh, Mr. Shipman and Ms. Strami specifically. Um, there are a lot of questions about the eagle uh, that is on your uh, on your campaign poster. Where is Jason hiding it? Can I pet it, please? <laughs> Freedom and America. <laughs> so if you guys see those eagles 
mine on campus over the Missouri River Valley. I just spent my quick and just got a call and just kind of stayed up. Um, the wind, how will you stop it? Uh, do you have a plan to halt the progression of winter? <laughs> I was hoping to bribe Old Man Winter to see if he would just take it easy. Um, yeah, the, the wind is you know, pretty powerful, so I think maybe we should just put up some uh, wind turbines. Maybe that'll slow the wind down. Or maybe trees. <laughs> okay. Thanks for the debate. A lot of great ideas, but I was wondering, we're talking a lot about listening to students on campus and trying to get them to say about things. Um, and I know that you kind of like to throw things into the dirt for that for like peer review, and I know that there's a lot of people on campus. So what are you going to do other than talking to people personally about that? Okay, we'll leave with Charmley Cool. Is this directed specifically towards Charmley Cool, or are we looking for both answers? Both answers. Okay, so we'll leave with Charmley Cool. Sixty seconds each. Uh, well, I think like I said previously, yeah, like, you're right. We are only two people, so. Even if I try and get to know you on the campus, I won't be able to. Um, but I think social media will be a great way to be able to get around uh, and, and get this information from people so that if there is a concern or an idea, uh, it, can be, it can be voiced in its proper way. And in addition, um, each senator has their own respective area where they can, you know, they can talk to people and they can bring from that. So I think then on student, uh, student government level, um, I think hopefully every, every student senator um, every cabinet member, president, vice president, will be able to get out there and uh, personally ask these questions to each group. You guys have been playing really nice through this whole debate. <laughs> and I'm all for that. That's great. But I would like you to tell us, the students here, exactly why we should vote for you because of what the other team is missing. Chip and Strami will lead with you. So your question there is specifically why vote for us? I vote for you, but not in the because we have the years of experience or because what is it that, in your case, Gino and Hannah are missing that makes you guys better qualified, or in Gino and Hannah's case, what is it that you're missing that makes them better qualified? Can I just say experience, even though you said no? <laughs> Can I say that anyways? Fair I mean, answer. I mean, that is our experience. Um, that's what is, is behind us. We have our leadership, um, and we have things to look back on. There are many, many leaders out there, um, and you are all leaders in one way or another. Um, and so realizing that we aren't the ones that are leading you, but you're the ones who are giving us the suggestions, and so that we are able to um, give you the opportunity to make those ideas and those plans, um, make those into reality and turn those into reality. So we give you the tools. Um, you are the leaders, really, um, and we just are serving you in that way. How would you deter people from voting for your for your best friend and then vote on the issues? All right, leading the ship is strong. Um, one thing that we really wanted to you guys to vote for is for experience because there has been such great leadership throughout the past year. Stacey's led us around cabinet, so we hope that we can continue and keep a fluid transition into next year's term through that. somebody because they're your friend. Um, you know, yeah, as you said, we've been in high school, student council. Um, this is a very serious position with Vision 2030 that we just passed over spring break with uh, the Board of Trustees and something we have to quickly. Um, there needs to be a fluid transition moving in. We need to know what's going on so that we can work efficiently. Okay, uh, Charlie Hull. That's a great question. Um, we definitely, definitely want you to vote for the person who represents you. Um, going back, I mean, we're taking advice from many people um, many years ago when we give the power to the people, but you need to vote for the person who you know um, will do the job right, do the job the best, um, and truly stand up for what you believe in. And you know, we will listen to your voice. And I hope that's us in your case. We truly hope that you would uh, we'll vote for the best. And we will leave here with Charmley Cool.
Um, what legacy would you like to have in your term as president and vice president? I really wish that a legacy of community would be left here, if, if nothing else, so that, you know, as campus grows, and it surely will be, that every student can break out of their comfort zone and get to know people that they may have nothing in common with, and to grow within themselves, because college really is a learning experience, and it's where we truly become who we are, um, and, and truly mature into an adult. So, really, a sense of true community um, and, and a trans campus college. Okay, uh, going to Shipman Strom. Um, we want students to remember all the service that they did at the University of Mary. We want them, so it's not even a surprise when they show up in their HSL or AOU classes that they're going to be doing service. We want them to lead, um, to recognize that that's what sets us apart and that's why we are leaders. as you um, enter your careers or your professional programs, you want it to be known that when you come in and say, I went to the University of Mary, that the people on the committees and the interview boards know the kind of background and the education that you have, <coughs> that you are students dedicated to the service of others, and that you're not you know, self-serving. So many colleges these days are it's all about you. It's all, it just revolves, but it, it is. Your college experience should be about you, but we are rooted in service to others, and that's something that we want to the four closing statements again, both of these tickets do have Facebook pages, Charmley and Hool, let's keep rolling, and leave it to Jason, uh, Jason and Lee for student body president VP. So make sure you follow, uh, like both of those uh, pages. Um, also, I believe there's a Twitter account for leave it to Jason, at leave it to Jason. Is there a Twitter account uh, for Charmley Hool? Okay, so please uh, follow them on social media uh, and check out their platforms. We do vote on in two days, so uh, it's, it's important that you, uh, that you follow all the platforms. Um, we're going to do, uh, Charmley will open with opening statements and they want to toss. I'd like to know if you would like to go first or second. Okay, first, Ship and Strong. Also, more importantly, want to um, initiate collaborative leadership among student organizations so that every student has the opportunity to experience leadership and experience what the university knows about. And we hope tonight you learned that we are the best candidates, and we hope that you can have the goals for abstract ideas, but for truly serious things to depend on, and that you do too. Woo! All right, thank you. Um, final closing statements, term legal. Um, I kind of started out, and again, thank you one of you for coming out um, and listening to our debate. Um, and thank you again. Uh, I'm honored to call both Jason and Lee my friends and amazing people. Um, I also want to leave you with um, the fact that we as um, Dino and I, student body president and vice president, listen to your, your um, ideas, your desires for this campus, um, because we don't know it all. Um, and so with humility, we ask you, um, you to build up our leadership. Well, how about a round of applause for that?